Yeah. Easy for I need to warm up. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Luigi Falcon, actually. This is kind of hard. Uh, two more. Oh, I actually yeah. don't know this matchup 2 OS Falcon versus Luigi. I also don't know it. Well, let's oh. see. All I know is versus Luigi, uh, you poke him a lot. Ooh, right there probably could have been me actually, but I don't know if he was in enough hit stun after the dare for him to act out of it and throw out a nair before the fair or er, before the knee. Um, I actually thought that the nair was coming, but. Yeah, he didn't space that one too. You have to know, especially at low percent, that Luigi's gonna, he's gonna offer an error once he gets out of his hit stun. And you can actually do two aerials in a single short hop, I think. That sounds like uh, Marth. That's crazy. Well, except his hurt. He has uh, long hissing, uh, long lasting hitboxes, actually. It's more dangerous. Oh! Mm. <laughs> If that had hit, it would have been a good edge guard, but unfortunately that misfired game. <laughs> Luigi. That's Luigi mains bread and butter. Mm -hmm. I feel like they feel so good. Good neutral. He caught uh, energy, throwing out a jab for some reason. Even though he, so he was too far away. He was like the right below the platform, whereas Falcon was all the way near the other platform. So you have to think when you throw out moves, it's gonna leave you know some frames out for you to get hit. You gotta be, ch you gotta choose exactly where to place your moves at and what position you'll take when you're playing. Oh, what hit? What did you hit him with? Oh, uh, I think that was unfair. It looked like a get-up attack, I'm was not it? sure. Yeah, that's dead. There you go. This matchup is so hard for each person. Just, if you talk to them, they're dying. Hands down. Well, I don't know if you can combo Luigi, but since it's Falcon, you might be able to. I'm not quite sure. Someone in stream help us. <laughs> oh, right there. He, he reached for a knee. That probably wasn't what it was. Especially when he was on the top platform. He, he should have like baited something out and waited for Luigi to react, and then he could have covered the entire platform with a rising up air or something. Oh, that neutral air was interesting. Um, I don't know if he should have opted for a neutral air actually, because it's oh. just sent him to the other side of the stage and he resets a neutral situation. Probably would have been better for him to throw out another oh, up air or a back air, throw him off the stage. Because edge guards are so effective. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Does Luigi have any offstage options? Offstage what? Options that are like safe to... Edgeguard or...? Yeah, edgeguard. He can or just... He can grab ledge, do a falling backer, he, he can um... A pro, get back, short hop, nair onto the stage, or he can just re-grab or fair. He's Op floaty, so he, he has a lot of options. Yo, Fel Felco! <laughs> yeah, we know this. Yeah, I know something about this one. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so oh, he should have been punished right there. He didn't fastball or uh, L cancel after that dare. But Bean just opted to uh, reset the situation. Even though he could have done a pivot grab or possibly a dare or a back air of some kind. Oh no. <laughs> the baby brother laser. Oh god. <laughs> the gangster laser. Uh. Alright, so um, for each player, they want to. Uh, maintain stage presence by staying in the center of the stage. Um, I feel like it's very similar to the Ganon matchup where just hold the middle of the stage you have the advantage. That's true. That's pretty much what you want to do in melee in general. But once they're off the stage or at the corner of the stage you need to apply appropriate ledge pressure. Bean had the right idea but once I don't know what he was doing when he was off the stage. He's out. He's uh, tr too trigger happy. As soon as he gets, once he throws an opponent onto the platform, he's not waiting, waiting for a reaction at all. He keeps opting to jump. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> he's but trying just, to stop. That's true. But it signals Falco that he can just get up attack. You can at least do a uh, empty, empty hop or just uh, wave dash in place to at least freak out the person, and make them react or do something. Yep. Nice. Oh, Ooh, no tech. Oh god. Those stomps are scary. Yeah, he's not covering these uh, get up attack <laughs> options, unfortunately, though. He's had a lot of chances to capitalize, too. Oh my <laughs> god, he's just styling. He's so mean. <laughs> oh 
my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. This seems hopeless. I'd say for the Falco, well, you need more lasers. The Falco definitely needs to do more lasers. He's also his movement options are very tight and sloppy. He's not doing enough dash dancing, and when he hits them, he has he's not comboing as hard. He's not punishing hard enough. Yeah, the platform movement is pretty stale. No, I mean even in neutral, he's just doing short hops. So he's staying in shield a lot. Yeah. Like you, sure. you want to dash dance a lot, especially after a nair. You could do a nair shot, or you could. You could dip out again, make them react, throw something out. There's a lot of options that Falco has in neutral, but I just... The Falco play is just not there yet. Oh my god. Oh, let's see it. No. Wow, that was... He had a right idea, but that was... <laughs> it was extremely slow. Oh god. Alright, you wanna play? Yeah, let's go. Bean!